The presidential campaign rally train of the People's Democratic Party has stormed the ancient city of Ibado to sell the candidature of the former Vice President Atiko Abubakar and his running mate Ifan Yokoa, who are running for the nation's highest political office. Speaking at the event, the PDP presidential candidate reaffirmed his determination to give more autonomy to states in order to pave way for national development. A correspondent has more. From across the 33 local council districts of Oyo State, enthusiastic supporters of the People's Democratic Party converged on the ancient Mapu Hall to welcome the presidential candidate of Atiku Abubakar and his entourage. The historic venue was filled to capacity as members listened to speaker after speaker who described Abubakar and his running mate Okowa as the most preferred for the onerous task of leading Nigeria back on the path to greatness. We must use our PDCs to show the APC that we are not happy with what they've done with Nigeria in the last eight years. Because this is not the Nigeria of our dream. Our youths are getting frustrated. They are hungry. Our people are mothers and our fathers. They are getting poorer and poorer by the day. Our people go home hungry and they go to bed hungry. That is not the Nigeria of our dream. So to say, Ibadan would have been the finest city in Africa. But the only presidential candidate today who has assured us that the evolution of power will help Ibadan, will help for your state, will help the entire southwest to regain his own kind of place is which party? Which party? Which candidate? Other leaders, including the national chairman of the PDP, Senator Iyocha Ayu, called for unity amongst members, which he noted was necessary if the party was serious about victory. As work tirelessly to make sure that the party returns to the people, no single person, no single group of people can control these parties as long as we do what the people want. And you are demonstrating today that the party is truly controlled by the ordinary people. We all know the position of Oyo State in Nigeria politics. Oyo has been and remained a melting pot of the southwestern politics of Nigeria. Atikwa Baka promised to restructure the nation as well as put an end to recurring strike by university lecturers. By restructuring, we mean giving more powers or giving more autonomy to the states and money. Do you understand that? Do you support that? Now, it is one of the five pillars of our program to make sure we implement restructuring, meaning that we give you more resources and more powers so that you can develop your respective zones and states. Highlight of the event was the presentation of a certificate of endorsement by leadership of the Students' Union in the Southwest, who described Alaji Atiku Abubakar as a man with the acumen to reposition the nation to greater heights. <laughs>